All right, well, we've got a new setup today. We finally set up the table. So we are still in the front window, but we've got a table now, and we're gonna be doing some unboxing. We've got everything that we've got at the flea market these past two weeks. One week we got 14 boxes. The other week we got 10 boxes. So we've got 24 boxes to go through. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's starting to pile up. So today the goal is to go through boxes and start looking at stuff that we've bought because we just buy stuff without looking at it a lot of the time. Wow, that's a lot of boxes you brought over. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> a lot of the stuff that we buy from Eric, Eric knows what we like, he knows what we buy, he knows what sells on our eBay, and we trust him to source for us. So we don't really always know what we're going to get from Eric. We just write him a check, and then we're surprised by what he's gotten for us, and it's usually a positive thing. Um, the stuff from Dave, Andrew was there early, and he acquired all of these things. So Andrew knows what we have from Dave, I do not. We're going to be going through those boxes as well. I'm excited. I'm talking really fast. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to give you values on this stuff. If I can, I will. However, I don't know what's here. So <laughs> we will see. see. There's some cool stuff. I know. I can see that there's cool stuff. <laughs> and look, I have a rewrapping out. station I'm already setting He's up. He's already setting up the rewrapping station. So all these open top boxes. I'm giving you the open top boxes first so we can, we can rewrap move it, it along the station process okay process, I like process. It. keep it going and then that'll be casey's next load good i like processes all right so let's start going through these boxes because i can't wait any longer i'm going to start with this one right here these look all matchy matchy i'm going to pull them off the top so there is a lot of china and porcelain and glassware in these boxes because I believe Dave did an antique store clean out and that's where a lot of this stuff came from. Uh, you remember last year when we went there and there was that sea of boxes all set up, everything still had price tags on it. And as we were doing the haul for that video, what was that? As we were doing the haul for that video, we were criticizing the prices on this stuff because it would be like priced for $125 and it would only be worth $25. So. Um, I'm not sure whether the stuff was in storage for a really long time or the prices were just really high. Um, but there are probably going to be prices on this stuff as well because it's from the same bunch of stuff. It is like a never-ending end just bunch of stuff. Um, so these plates are Silesia. They are really pretty. These are P and K Silesia. I recently listed a plate that was P and K Silesia. And I don't know what P and K stands for. I believe I got it at Finders Keepers. That was recently. It might actually be in this box that I have on top of the table because this was the Finders Keepers stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like this plate has a chip on it. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, now there isn't anything real spectacular about these plates. They are transfer wear, which means they are not hand painted. They are just a transfer image. They've got roses on them though. They are pretty. They would make nice little dessert dessert plates. I'm only going to count them as four because the fifth is chip, so he doesn't really count. And I would expect to get three or four dollars a piece for these. So that's probably like 16 to 20 dollars for the set. Not including the one that's chipped. Oh wait! We've got five. <laughs> that one's not chipped either. I'm still going to go with my original guesstimate of how much I can get. Oh, I grabbed these. I grabbed these for myself. I didn't actually grab these to be sold, so I'm going to have to take these home with me. Uh, these are old. These are just, they're um, advertisements. I think they're movies. They're for movies or for shows. And I thought they were just really neat coasters. And a lot of my furniture at home is wood. So you can never have too many coasters when the furniture is wood. So I grabbed those. These plates are... Fun. And you guys actually saw me grab these plates, and I grabbed a lot of them. I wasn't sure of the condition because I didn't unwrap them all, but I'm going to do this now. And I have yet to decide whether I am keeping them for me or I am selling them. So far, this box seems to be more I'm keeping it for myself than I'm selling it, but most of it we're selling, so 
you can see here these are the Christmas tree pipes. And I was grabbing blindly, so I don't know how many I have. That's why I'm doing this. Yikes, there was a lot in there. I just grabbed the stack. Um, I'm not seeing the larger ones in here, so they must be in another box. Um, we have the larger ones as well, and I don't know how much larger ones we have. These plates, specifically these Christmas plates, can be super valuable. At least they were super valuable a couple years ago. And I knew when I grabbed them that there was one specific Christmas tree design of plates that were worth a lot of money. And I saw these and I thought, you know, I wonder if those are the ones. Uh, a couple years ago, they sold for a couple hundred dollars. Now the price has kind of gone down just a smidge. Um, but they are Plumber Limited in New York. I believe they're Spode. But they're not marked Spode. But when I was looking them up on Worth Point, a lot of them were attributed to Spode. So it was kind of, I was confused because there's no markings on them for Spode. And I don't know if Plumber Limited New York is somehow associated with Spode. But um, it appears as though all of our little plates are unchipped, so that is nice. I thought that was very interesting. Now, there's a lot of smalls in here, so we're going to take it out layer by layer and make sure that we don't break anything. This is like a little tedious and frightening. I went to town, baby. You did, oh my gosh. I'm throwing all the wrapping on the floor, just so you know. <laughs> That's fine. I just cleaned everything up. Don't worry. I know. You did a really good job cleaning. You guys see the behind me. It's all cleaned up. Andrew spent the whole day over here the other day cleaning, and now I'm making Destroying. a big mess again. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> it's all good. Um, okay. So here we've got, I think there's three of these. There's probably more hiding. But I think one of them had a doink. Oh. One of them might have well, a doink. Oh, that yeah, one's this got, one does. That one's got a little bit of a doink. But I found those wrapped up in the bottom of a box. And, and there should be a pair of these. Yes, I haven't gotten to that yet. And there should be a pair of these. Okay. And um, I think there's only a pair of those two luster ones. And the fact that I remember all this crap is ridiculous. That's some strength. So these are salt cellars or uh, salt dips. They are marked on the bottom underneath the gold paint, so I don't think I'm going to make it out. I'm assuming they're probably uh, German or French. I don't believe that they are Nippon, but they were probably sold as a blank and then painted after the fact. Uh, we do really well with open salts because they're coming back into fashion. But back in Victorian times, before salt and pepper shakers, every place setting would get a fancy little salt because that's just how they did it. And then there would be a master salt where people could replenish their salts. It was kind of the thing. Um, and they are coming back, and part of the reason for that is gourmet salts that people have at dinner parties. So that's a thing. Um, and we do really well with salts, so that's why I always grab them. Um, we've got a little nut dish. This was marked 25 cents. It does have a chip on it, unfortunately. But this is just a little nut dish. It would have come in a nut bowl with a nut bowl and then little nut dishes to go with it. Uh, so we've got that. We've got two little bone china swan salt and peppers. I've got another one of these plates. One of these, um, I think they're Delft. This is Royal Copenhagen, Denmark. Tivoli. Oh, there's another one. These ones sold pretty well. Um, this one says Langeline. I don't even know what this says. Um, typically, they sell between 5 and 10. Unfortunately, these ones have both been repaired, which I just realized. So, that sucks. Just throw those over my shoulder. <laughs> I'm not going to throw them over my shoulder, but I don't know if I'm going to sell them. Uh, these. I don't know for certain. But judging by the iridescence on them, I'm going to assume that these are more than likely Jeanette. This is more of a floral gold than it is a carnival, but it is a divided dish. I've got $10 on this, and I'd say probably 
Eh, eight to ten. I could expect to get for those. And I want to say that I picked one of those up at Connors too. Yeah. So we've got. There, was, there should be them. there should be three from Dave's. Okay. So there Maybe there might actually be another one floating around in there. Okay. I know there was multiple at Dave's, and then there was at least one from Connors. So. And you said these are both marked Sterling. Sterling, yeah. This one, it's right on the outside edge here. Sterling. One of them's really oh, yeah, blatant. I see it. One of them's kind of worn. So these guys are marked Sterling. And I saw one of these for sale by itself out in the flea market. Uh, for around 25 bucks. Sweet. Huh. And we've got two of them. So, I don't know how much they'd actually be worth. What are these, coasters? Uh, yes. Those are fancy coasters. Those are Very more fancy coasters. Those are more fancy than the ones I picked out. Because I'm fancy pants. <laughs> and would you believe it? I prefer the ones that are less fancy. I don't know what that says about me. Probably nothing good. All right. Here we've got M and Z Austria. This piece has a price of fifty dollars on it. Uh, I would actually probably expect more in the line of eighteen to twenty-five for this piece. Now I'm kind of when I'm throwing out these prices, I'm not acknowledging the actual pattern that is on the plates because I don't know the patterns off the top of my head. This could be a super rare pattern. It could be worth way more, but for the value of a porcelain plate that is transfer aware and made in Austria, the average value of it is going to be 18 to 25 dollars. So that's that. <laughs> uh, we've got these little guys. I believe these are finger bowls and I believe these would have had lemon water in them and you would just dip your fingers in them and clean them. I think, I think that's what these are. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I know you guys usually do. <laughs> um, so I think that's what these are. I think these are finger bowls. They've got a price of $35 on them for these. And we've got more, so how many more do we have? Oh, will you look at that. They've got their little saucers to go with them. That's fancy. I think that's it. I think we have three of them. We have a hair receiver. This is March 28. The porcelain china hair receiver. Somebody just ran over the curb and almost hit the parking meter. Now I'm watching to see. He's got it this time. He's good. Okay. Uh, this is a hair receiver. So it would have sat on the vanity back in Victorian times. And they'd brush their hair and they'd put the extra hair in the hair receiver. Now, I thought a lot of the time they would do that for uh, hair jewelry. But I, one of the viewers pointed out that they would also make pieces, like hair pieces, to help supplement their own hair. So that was a thing as well. Uh, these I typically get 18 to $20 for, depending on how fancy they are. This one's not super fancy, so. I really like these. These are something that I picked out. And you guys saw me pick these out. Now I suspect that these are EAPG They've got roosters on them. I don't know the pattern. They're marked $15 a piece. One, unfortunately, does have a crack on it. So he's kind of a buy one, get one free because I'm only gonna be selling the one and throw this one in as a bonus. Uh, but I do like the roosters on that. So for this piece, I would probably expect 10 to 15 for that without knowing what the pattern is. And then the sky goes for free. Oh, hi there. Okay. Ooh, you got into some of the pretty stuff. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look I at sure all did. kinds of tinies. I love tinies. There's some really cool ones in there. I and know. This is one of my favorites in here. Cat. I do too. I, I feel like, like we've the, had one I like that. I just like before. the shape of that. I mean, it's marked Japan. Yeah. He's kind He's of cartoony. He's like a Siamese cat. Look at him. 
Is that the mailman? No, that's somebody throwing out trash. Oh. I thought maybe it was the mailman. Walter said he would walk around the corner with me to Hook and Flask, which is a uh, distillery around the corner. He said he'd walk around the corner with me when the mailman came. Because Andrew refuses. I don't want to go for a drink. And I've never, I've never been there before. He's not 21. They're, they're doing service on the sidewalk because they're not even allowed to be open, but they're doing si sidewalk service. So it's a beautiful day. I'm going to walk around the corner. There are neighbors, so it's a nice thing to do. And also it's a beautiful day. Okay, uh, we've got these pieces. This one is a little vase. I would expect five to ten for that. This guy is just a little clock made in Japan. Probably, again, five to eight for that. We've got... She is an angel. She doesn't have a friend. Her friend is not in the box. She is alone. <laughs> She's... She's sad and alone. And she wants to be with someone because she's kissing the air. <laughs> she's made in Japan. She's got holes in her head. So she is a salt or pepper shaker. And unfortunately, she is by herself. We've got this. Unfortunately, this guy, I believe, is a dollar store piece. Is kind of cute. I like that. It's probably like eh, five dollars. This is the one I was trying to get to. <laughs> this is the one I was excited about. It was in the very bottom of the bowl. Look at him. He's pink. He's actually got a little bit of good weight to him, but he's a donkey and I'm really shocked that he's got both of his ears. He's fantastic. He's my favorite of all of them. More than the cat, even. Um, I would expect probably 10 to 12 for him. We've got the cat, Japan. Probably 5 to 10 on the kitty. We've got a vintage angel, which is probably a Christmas angel. 5 to 10 on that. Little bells. And then, I've got the eggnog bowl. I don't know how much the eggnog bowl goes for. I think the complete set goes for like 35 to $45 with the cups. Not positive. There are cups for you that. You got the cups? Oh, I, I see them in here. Did get the cups. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the cups. You did get the cups. Look at you. <laughs> you know, I might have to keep this. <laughs> And the cool because your mom does eggnog every year. My mom does eggnog every year and she makes the eggnog in my great grandmother's eggnog bowl. With the the but she has the milk glass one. She does not have the luster one. Or I'm sorry, the iridescent one. So I don't know. It might be like time to start my own tradition of making my own eggnog. She makes the non-alcoholic kind though, because my dad is a pastor and they do not partake in that kind of eggnog. But it's still really good, and we've done it every year since I was a kid, so. I might need my own eggnog bowl. So, I don't know. I like those. I like that the bottom has the flowers on them. Those are great. How many cups are there? One, two, three, four, six or eight, five. Six. I think we got six cups. Could probably buy a few more online if we need them. Yeah, it's probably a common color. Yeah. I, mean, I think we're going to hold on. Because I've always wanted one and I've always been too cheap to buy one for myself. So <laughs> thank you, Dave. Here we've got. and sugar in cubist. Now it could be American, it could be cubist. You guys know I cannot tell the difference. 
Now I know the Fosteria version, the blocks or the cubes are a lot more defined, but I've never had it side by side to be able to compare. And so I'm not able to tell the difference. I feel like if I had it side by side and I could compare it, I'd be able in the future to say, okay, this is this and this is that, but I've never had it side by side. I've seen them both. I have, I've, ha I've sold them both and I've had one with the original Fosteria sticker. So I, I've been in position of both, but I've never seen them side by side. So, um, Coronation of King Edward, May 1937. Yeah, that was too long. cool to leave. Yeah, I don't We've know. We've done you... well with other coronation pieces. We for have, Britain. yeah. Queen Elizabeth has done really well. Now this goes a, this has a price tag of $38 on it. Yeah. I think this may be a high one though. I've noticed that some of the prices on here are high and some are low, whereas the last time I feel like they were all really high. I mean this is Meekin. So I mean that's that's good port that's good pottery. Yeah. I like that. It's I don't know cheap. I don't know how much that would be worth, so. This is a nice piece. Wow. Goodness gracious. So I'm kind of saying wow. And <laughs> I'm going to lift you guys up so you can see what I'm saying wow to. Check this out. I mean, hopefully I can set you back down on the same side. You hear that wind whipping? The wind? That's not the wind, is it? Oh, yeah. Is it windy? Oh, yeah, it's whipping. Look at this. See the light shining through there? Oh, through the, uh, through the... Oh, there's the mailman. That's the mailman. Yes. We have the best mailman. We do. So this is an interesting piece. Do you see that? Yeah. It's really thin in those spots. Yeah. Where it's, like, creeped out, you know? That is weird. Cool piece. It is. It's interesting. It's got some. When, it's, I, when it's, I lifted it up, I could actually see the light shining through it. It definitely needs somebody who's going to love it for what it is, because it's really not something I think, that's super valuable. You know, I think it could probably be like a planter, maybe. Let's see, there we go. I don't know. All right, let's see if that works. Is that a good angle? That'll work. <laughs> yeah, a little bit lopsided now, but thank you. Um, I'm oh, keeping I was these. going to tell you too, with these cubist pieces that you were picking out, yeah. you will find there are a couple sets of these, but they have the trays with them too. Uh -huh. So there's a, it's a three piece set and I think I got them in clear and you pink. You mean like this? Yes. See? Three piece set. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And I think, I want to say that this should have a lid. One of the other ones I believe has a lid. Oh. So. Oh, that's fancy. But yeah, there's a couple of those, and there's, I think, a set in pink, too. Well, then. And that charger you're going to be pulling out of there, that, that is just... That enormous one? Are you sure Walter's going to want to ship that? I don't really... That? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. I'll take him around the corner, and then I'll talk to him about it. <laughs> oh, guys. This is TNV, by the way. Oh. The thing's massive. It is massive. Got it marked for 85. I think it's beautiful though. You know, it's kind of plain. It is plain, but it's simple. It is. It's a simple, good spring and drink tray. And you know, tray. if you put fancy porcelain on top, it wouldn't take away from it. It would kind of complement it. Yeah. It is Trustman and Vote, and it is $85. On their price tag. On their price tag. <laughs> I don't know how we would ship that. Maybe in a pizza box. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Quick order pizza. Just so kidding. you need a fresh box, huh? I think so. Here, have a fresh I did. Box. You said that you had a matchy matchy to this. Wow, it's and in I one did of these. not pull a matchy matchy. It's in one of. The, it was in a separate box. Okay. So everything's so, mixed up. That's so what I was afraid out. of. So Dave had an aisle of boxes here, and yeah. then there was like an aisle of boxes here. I got one out of the box over there, and one out of okay. the box over yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Everything was all mixed up. So it's in there somewhere. This looks pretty just from the back. It did not disappoint. Okay. Um, and then we also, I didn't show these. These are uh, peach luster egg cups. That's not the one I was really excited about. This is MNZ Austria. Uh, it's got lemons on it. I like that. 
Uh, this piece would probably be 18 to 24. There's another one there similar to that. Is there? Mm-hmm. Right. Right here? Yep. With apples, Different peaches. Again, probably 18 to 24. The back price is $35. Those are beautiful. They are gorgeous. You know, but this is a reflection of probably that these items were in storage for a while because about 10 or 15 years ago, you could probably get $35 for those plates. Oh, yeah. And the price is going to be unfortunately. Um, okay. These are just cute little dishes. Maybe sauce dishes. I really like this little guy. He's got Asian characters on him. Not marked, but I really like that. I, I pretty. I have no idea. There, there are Asian characters all around the outside. They were singles. They, yeah. I grabbed them just because they were really gorgeous. That one's got the really pretty gold. And again, there's Asian characters around the outside of it. They just had that look, you know, like that yeah. I've got a feeling these are a little well, better than your normal average. I love piece. that this one is so thin and it's got the lotus flower on the bottom. It is really nice. I like that. Okay. Um How about your little pig man there? Your little pig man. I showed this on video too. And one of our viewers commented and said who made it. And I'm going to have to go back and look at the comment because I can't remember right off the top of my head who it was that made this. He's been repaired, but he's, he was he too cool has, to behind. Yes, he does have a repair. And it's not the best repair in the world. I wish I could say it was, but it was made with yellow glue. And, and unfortunately, it's a pretty obvious repair. But I just thought that was a really neat little dish. And I don't know how much that would that would bring. Um, I did grab this. It is in German, and it's a really it's an older cup, and that's why I grabbed it. I don't know the significance of the image on the cup, but I saw the etching on the back, which I don't even know if it's going to show up for you guys. But it is etched right here, and it has a two liter mark. So. Maybe a 0.2 liter. I don't know. There's a comma in there. I don't know where the comma comes from. But I liked the age of this. And I thought, you know, that could be something good. So I grabbed it. Uh, here we've got a collie. It's got some good kind of weight to it. Holy smokes. We have a collie planter. I'm totally digging the collie planter. I think, I think the hater made a collie planter. But I'm not positive. I know they made a dog planter. I can't remember if it was a collie or not. This is marked 15. It's not marked Hager. So if it is Hager, it would have had a sticker. I'm going to have to go home and look through my Hager book and see if that's the case. So I'm kind of a little bit perplexed by that. Oh, uh, the dog, the collie? The collie, yeah. I'm pretty sure that Hager made a collie planter, but I do not know. Yeah, definitely. I saw that. I was like, oh, she's going to love this. Yeah, that one's got me a little, a little perplexed. Uh, we've got Bavaria. Little dishes here. How many? Uh, so these are $25 each. I think I could probably get 8 to 12 for the pair. <laughs> Probably, uh, yeah. <coughs> they're really nice, but I think there's there might even be more. Oh, if there's are, more, that makes more sense. I believe there is. There again, some of the stuff was hodgepodge. Yeah, no, I see what I mean by yeah. another cubist set. Yeah, and I pulled out these. This, I believe, has a lid right there. I see that I'm trying to pull it out layer by layer because I don't want to. I believe this is Jeanette. That was really pretty. It is. So this is flashed. 
it is not actually amberina, which that means is it's a clear glass and the color is applied on the outside. And so a lot of times you will find these and the color will be flaking off. However, this is actually like really like there's only one spot where I see that like there's a little bit of color coming off. So these are in pretty good condition. I believe it's either Indiana or Jeanette, but I'm leaning towards Jeanette because I know they did a lot with the applying of color. So I'm going to set that over there. So, yeah, you definitely have the extra cubist pieces in here. Um, another little tray. This, I think, is a candle. Candlestick. There should be a couple of those in there. I found some cubist in amber. Um, that is... There's a name for that. I believe that's Indiana glass. There's a few of those. We had these recently and they were green. And there is a completely different name for these. Yes. And I can't remember the name of it. We sold a whole set of them with pictures, remember? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. And it, I can't think of it. It's gonna drive me nuts. Piece of that. I think that's just stuff. I think that's like a little berry bowl. A little berry bowl. Maybe it goes with this. Ta da! <laughs> What is this? Oh, that's a cool piece. 1902 Harrisburg, Harrisburg PA. yeah, with uh, the Our Father on the back, the yeah. Lord's Prayer. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is a this killer etched glass. Do it justice. I love that etched glass. I might even hoard that for You're going to hoard this? Just for a little bit, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 1902. That's a cool piece. Open salts. I'm trying to get to this picture. I know you are. I knew I knew that you knew that I was because you were trying to distract me with salts and everything else as I was digging <laughs> for it. Oh, you got those little blue plates. Did you talk about those? Yes, I did. Did you know they're both repaired? Is that one repaired? No, this one's good. I didn't notice they were repaired. I didn't either when I first showed them and then I set them back down and I was like, oh, darn it. Well, crap. It's okay. This one's good. This one's good. Who is this? This is H.C. Anderson. Congans have. I don't know what that means. But um, this is the picture that I was trying to get to, and it is marked Burslem, Burslem, England. Fortunately, it does have a crack, but I just really like that. Is he taking a shower? No. It sounds like the shower is running. We have showers here, um, four of them, if you didn't see the, the tour of this store. Um, because it used to be a, um, a rehab center, right? Right. Yeah. So there are four showers here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is just a little basket planter, but it's marked Hager on the bottom. Oh, all right. We are running on 35 minutes. Let's finish this box. Okay, fine, we'll finish this box. Let's finish this box, and I will help you get through this. Okay, we'll do it together. Here, give me this one. Yeah, I think there's something inside. I see that. You packed this very expertly. Just want to point that out. We've got lots of teacups. Royal Colston, England. And this is another Jeanette piece. So this is another Jeanette piece. As you can see, it is green and yellow, but it is also flashed. But again, the color is holding. So that's nice. Mm, I like this. That is really cute. I like that too. Made in Japan. But it's got the moriage. Moriagi. <laughs> Somebody corrected the way I said it. And I didn't know I was saying it wrong. So Mor moriagi. Say it the Japanese way. I like that. The sailboat. And it is marked made in Japan on the back. I think that's pretty. Yeah, that wind is nuts, isn't it? I do have the cup out for that already. 
I do. Here's the saucer. Oh, okay. <coughs> uh, I'm to balance it there. In one of the boxes from last week, there's yes. a whole set of this stuff. I saw that. And I believe this goes to it. What is in here? It's hiding in there. Hello, what uh, are these? These match those four salts. These are the same as those salts. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. There's a couple good ones in here. It's a little Limoges trinket dish. Yes. And it is monogrammed with a B. I think it's a B. Yes, it is a B. And it is marked with a D. Now, this one is another killer little trinket box. Is that a B? Yes, it's a B. I, I think I had it upside down for you guys. I know, right? I saw that in the box, and you were taking your time getting to it, and I'm like, come on, Andrew. That's <laughs> what I want to see. You know I want to see that. It's got some age. Yeah, I like that. That's a killer. They're thing. probably all like, what, what, what do you like? Show us. Okay. Let me get close for this one, because it's pretty amazing. The scenery on that's killer. Yeah. I really like that. And I like the edge to it. And... Let's see if you pop it open. It's got the blue on the inside. I really like that. I wish it was marked somewhere, but it's not. Oh, that's great. All right. Fiesta? We want to be Fiesta. It's a cool little piece. It is. I like the shape of it. Uh, yeah, because it's shaped like Fiesta. Yeah, I like, the, I like the lines on it. It is not marked in the bottom, and I believe that Fiesta had glazed bottom, so I don't know about that piece. More plates? Are you trying to hide something from me? No. You're like handing me stuff to distract me from something I know you are. No. Um, so this is nice. I don't know if that's a trivet. I if that was a lid to something. But it is hand painted. They've got 20 on there. I would expect probably 12 to 15. Eek. This one is marked Minerva Golden Medal St. Louis. This one has a transferware design. Uh, little cherub babies on it. Um, this one I would expect 8 to 12 without knowing the company. Mm -hmm. uh, this is PS Germany. Probably, is that hand painted? No, it is transfer. I would expect eight to 12 for that one. And this one, Haviland. It's marked as is though, which is a little concerning. Yes, there is a chip on it, so that's a shame. But it's got a, uh, butterflies on it. I don't immediately recognize this pattern. It is Haviland and Company Limoges and uh, because of the chip I would expect probably five to ten on that. Good thing I got these long arms. This is cool. I like this. It's not marked unfortunately but the quality is just amazing on it. Hmm. TH I think maybe or TL maybe whoever painted it. Interesting. I believe it's Japan. Ooh, a nice looking one. Yeah, it and it's got a little hangy thing on it. The lid for this might be in one of the other boxes. Okay. This is my last favorite thing out of here, though. Is that Limoges? Yeah. A little blue I couldn't Limoges believe the neck wasn't broken. Oh, I know. We've got a whole set of this blue Limoges from last week somewhere. This piece, this is the Cabbage Rose. Um, I believe this pattern was the 70s and Fenton. I think, if it's the pattern I'm thinking of, Cabbage Rose. Probably had a lid, so unfortunately it is missing its lid, but it could be used as a nice little planter, I think. Probably expects like eight to twelve for that. I think that pretty much sums up the box, right? We've got these two plates, winter and spring. 
they are also both Limoges. They both had prices of $1 and $1.50 on them. So, um, if those were 10 year ago prices, I don't expect that they are super valuable. I kind of like them though. They're kind of like iconic scenes of spring and winter. I don't like, I kind of find them endearing, honestly. For a dollar and a dollar fifty. I'll take them. <laughs> so, we went through two boxes. Um, I think we're going to go walk around the corner, see what they have to offer, and then walk back and maybe go through some more boxes because we've got a whole pile over here and there's more boxes to go through. I'm actually gonna lift you guys up and show you the boxes. There's people looking in our window. This is everything that we have to go through <laughs> today. This is our task for the day. And then if you follow me over here, <laughs> this is what Andrew was working on the other day. You know though, that pile doesn't look that scary. No, not anymore. No, it really doesn't. I thought we had like 24 boxes. No, cause I got all the open top ones over there. That's what makes it look so scary. The open top boxes. I'm yeah, so and that is, now that you're done with that stuff, I'll repack that for Casey and get it ready to go. And I got a Casey pile going here. I'm working on the tent for the Hunt. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna set that up. I gotta get the Garrett banner at home. So sweet. You know, like my centerpiece. I like it. Looks nice. That actually came from a viewer. I know. It looks really nice. I've been trying to figure out the right thing to use it for. Yeah. And I think doing these hunts and setting up my booth, I think it's gonna be a nice backdrop. I like it. Now don't forget to state down your tent because we know what happens when you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's walk around the corner. All right. Let's go get Walter. Walter! Wally! Walter! Wally! Walter! Wally! <laughs> Walter! He hates my guts. He what? Oh, he's outside, he's not even paying attention. All right, so I hope you guys, wait, I've got my viewfinder, I'm upside down right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. And maybe we'll do some more unboxing. I don't know what, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. I'm just going day by day. That's usually my plan. <laughs> we'll see you then, bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.